Inertia is the enemy of life. And the question is, why? Inertia creates breaks. It diminishes flow. And life is all about flow and fluidity. From a health perspective, your body creates a circulation of blood and energy in order to bathe every cell in nutrients. If you interrupt that flow, you are interrupting the process of living. From a philosophical perspective, water has no agenda and no inertia. If water is contained and you break the boundary, the barrier, water will naturally flow without hesitation. But that water will follow the path of least resistance. It will not go uphill, not unless there is a great momentum first going down in order to create that up. But water seeks the lowest place, takes the path of least resistance, and has no agenda. No agenda, no inertia, no yang, and no yin. It is neutral. It sits in the middle. If you look at the trigrams, they have three lines. And the trigram has a positive, it has a negative, and it has a neutral. So water is neutral. And in that point of neutrality, it blends with the flow of life. Now, from a physical perspective, the Taoists built their Qigong, their Neigong, and their internal martial arts and their spiritual arts off of following the way of water. Because water is the continuum, it is the flow, it is something that does not stop, it does not end. From a health perspective, when you use the Western reciprocal inhibition use of the muscles, where one muscle is contracting to do one action, another muscle is contracting to do the opposite action, at the end of each action, you are putting in inertia. You're putting tension in the body and you're stopping the body at the end of an extension and at the end of a retraction. If you stop at each point, however small, you are breaking the flow. The internal arts use bend and stretch, and the bend and stretch has no stop and no start. The open and closing processes is one continual fluid action that allows your body to stay in movement and motion externally and internally. And when you do this, you rid the body of tension, you stop the inertia, and your body is flooded with nutrients. The blood will take the nutrients to every cell of the body. But every time you put in tension, every time you put in a break, a stop, a gap, the inertia prevents the fluids from reaching certain parts of your body and eventually illness will set in. From a martial perspective, if you have inertia at the critical moment, that's when you get hit. From a spiritual perspective, it's all about continuum. It's all about flow. Continuum of the mind, continuum of your chi, continuum of your breath. No stops, no starts, no inertia, no gaps. From a Buddhist perspective, the definition of enlightenment is no gaps and the continuum. The Taoists have the same idea. It's not enlightenment. They call it realization. A person becomes fully realized when they release and remove all gaps, all inertia from the mind. The mind is continuously aware and awake. And this is what creates the higher states. If you have inertia, how do you get rid of the inertia? How do you get rid of the gaps? How do you revitalize your body, your energy, your mind? The Taoists have many, many practices, breathing practice, meditation practice, but initially movement practice. Movement practice is what trains your body to get the continuum, to get the circulation, to generate the flow within the body, blood and chi, which brings life-sustaining benefits. It increases vitality. 
and it brings your mind into a state of awareness. And the Taoists have always used this oscillation between stillness and movement and stillness and movement and looking for movement within stillness and looking for stillness within movement. The movement within stillness is about getting the chi and the blood and the mind to be continuous and getting stillness within movement is about allowing the mind to settle and become stable whilst you're moving through space.